Hi, it's John here. I'm going to call Sue Nicora, my trusty queer down the east coast. And get her to tell her what happened yesterday in court. Then we have our meeting on down the coast. Here goes. Here goes. I hope she's there. Hello, it's John Wanoa here. Sue there, please. Thank you. Madam Prime Minister, how are you? I'm alright, good. Well, I got off our court case in Cook Street. The judge threw the whole lot out yesterday. Yeah, and those and those marshals and those marshals that went in on Cook Street, it got the, it, it got dismissed through lack of evidence from the police made it all up. You see. So, um, my next stage is getting the land and I was hoping that you might talk to Charles to pick up where he was with it because I can't raise him. I did leave a message but he doesn't answer it. Yeah, that's right. He's over the shore. He's over the, the shore. Oh, okay. Well, that would be good because he, if, if you can influence him to pick up from that Cook Street property, he can wrap the whole lot up. Get some money out of that lot. Get money out of that lot. No, no, no I, I spoke to him, but then only a little short time, and then the phone went dead. I, I managed to get him on the phone because I got the number from where 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 he was at in town, and they told me to ring that number, and then I, he picked it up and started talking, and then it went off. So it looked like he hung up on me. So so I don't know what that was for, but um, he he knows all about that case. It, the only thing was getting paid to do it. That's what prevented him from doing any more with it. I was paying him a little bit at a time. Um, but um, I'm hoping that you would have ha at least got on to him because he can win that case now. The police, the, the police were in the wrong. So now it's left them vulnerable now. It's left, it's left them, the, the owners and everybody in there looking like stupid mugs. And, and, and in front of everybody. Mm. Yeah, I'm coming down. I got a hui. I uh, thought you might want to go to it in um, uh, Te Horo Marae in uh, Port Awanui on Saturday. That's at Ruatoria uh, and towards uh, Te Kapa, over the hill to um, to uh, Port Awanui is is uh, on the way. I'm having the meeting for the tidal turbines. The tidal turbines in the Renfilly Bank. And 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 I got a lease on the forty five hectare block there. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. The Cook Street is wide open to go and bang them over. Cook Street is ready to bang them all over with the barrister. Because my barrister said yesterday, well, John, it's all over. Because when they went in there, I gave them instructions 
And I stood outside, the boys had to go on the stand, but not me. And so my barrister came out afterwards and said to me, John, it's all over, you're free to go, you, you, you're being cleared. I said, no, I haven't finished yet. I want my, 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 my case done. Mm -hmm. So he said, no, the, the judge made a ruling, that's it. Um, so uh, I'm, I'm yet to... Yeah, he, he, he was looking after somebody else's interest at that court hearing and not mine. Because he, he texted me, I, I, he texted me a half an hour before the court hearing I had prepared eight years for, just to tell me that, oh, your court hearing's off till next week. And then, and then those boys said, oh, we heard your name being called out. And I said, yeah, I don't have to go in there because he's already texted me before I even got there to say I haven't got a court hearing today. And so I'll just sit outside. You fellas go in, that's your case today. I didn't know you fellas were coming. You see? So it looks like he was there for them. And not me. Oh, they're all free to go. Um, you know, we're, we're being cleared of, of the charges. Um, and so that's left them in the quandary how to get compensation. And we, with me, using those bogey instruments to come and hook my benefit, my, 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 my birth certificate, money out of it to pay themselves. You see, I'm using that that those those documents, heaps of them, that woman came in here and arrested me with, I said to my barrister, I'm challenging those documents. And so that's that's the only thing what the judge said that it was insufficient evidence why the judge dismissed it. They didn't drop it. They didn't drop the police didn't drop the case. He dismissed them. No, 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 uh, I, 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 no, 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 those boys got nothing to do with me. I'm doing my own case in, in the corporate sense that uh, I, I'm now cleared to get a barrister or a lawyer who will take it up, take it on, because that barrister I had was only a legal aid. You see? You see, and, and when, the, when, when the court said it's all over, the legal aid stops. So now I've got nobody to pay, like to do my case. I was only hoping that I can wrap up the Cook Street at the same time as that police case. You see, what happened was the documents that she used to arrest me with was crooked, but they still hooked the money out of it. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm, I'm contesting. Is I signed and someone countersigned as Mr. John Wano in capital letters, and I said that person I want in court. With, with that policewoman, and the judge gave me a subpoena to subpoena that policewoman in the court yesterday. She didn't, she wasn't there. You see, so it makes the police law because they wrote it. She wrote it, not a law lawyer. It, it hasn't been approved by Bar Association. It was written by her hands because she wrote that name, John Wanoa, in capitals in her own handwriting, which got her. But my barrister was playing with. with on the judge's side to make sure get rid of the case before they get found out. Oh, I just have to wait for him to see what if he's going to carry on with my case now that it's all over. Um, when he said to me, "Go and see Charles," because he'd obviously been talking to Charles because I said Charles was doing that land block. And the police have stepped in the road, uh, in the road, and covered it up. Uh, now I got his his mobile. Yeah, mobile number. I've got I've got I've got his mobile number, but he just only got the message. Yeah, yeah. He's on Ten Northcote Road, eh? I'll go, and, I'll go and drive and see him. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go and visit him and, and just drive there to just let him know that you're concerned.
for your fraternity to hook this in at the same time to pay himself out of it. I, I want him to get paid out of this Cook Street. There's plenty in it. If he can win, he'll, he'll win that case on the police interrupting or tempering with my, my, my case with those landowners. That's what it was. It just showed that the police got it wrong. They, 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 they got thrown out because they've, they've been fiddling around with the law themselves. <clears throat> and the Bar Association took, can, can see that a mile off, that they got the law on themselves. Eh? Yeah, well, it's, now I can pot them off one by one because I, I said to him, I said to the barrister, tell the judge that Pope Francis said you can't use those laws on me. He got rid of those laws in the trust and you can't use that on my court case. So I think they would have taken that seriously and it might have added weight to getting everybody off. Plus, plus the fact that it's, um, uh, it, it's, it's, it's a police document that was written by, not a lawyer. You know, it wasn't, it had no authority. It, it had no authority to arrest everybody with those documents that was fashioned by that police woman. And she ran away to Solomon Islands they, they took her out. The police took her out because she knew, they knew she was going to get in trouble. But nevertheless, they set her up to make trouble for the Maoris to make them look bad. And the newspapers are going to sue the newspapers for publishing bad things about us. Saying, these thugs, these Maori thugs, this is what they do in their spare time. They go around bashing people up, pulling them out of their office. Well. It, it, it looks bad on, on the people there now because they were all in the same together against what I was doing. Yeah, yeah, that, that's a, a big relief because it was, a wor it was worrying me for a long time, eight months. From uh, this, this first started on the 8th of, uh, 8, 28th of September last year. Right up to now, it's been a worrying time. And now that's gone. Uh, it's just the turbines next. I got I got a company in London now. Uh, it's registered in the company's office there, straight into the Waitangi Marae uh, under Kingi, and with you with you guys there. It's 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 got a trail now to go and sting these people with that company over there under UK jurisdiction, straight there. So that's what Charles can use that. He he's been over there to you. Uh, uh, England and the, those laws, so he, he should know how to pick up on that. I set that company up, I got some office staff over there, uh, ready for the turbines, um, and set up already, but the company itself is, 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 it, it can build these companies here. Turbine, 12.5 billion. 12.5 billion. 12.5 billion pounds. Yeah, yeah, but it it stacks up in in the in the sense it stacks up. That's between here and England. Yeah, it's a lot of money, um, but I've got it all ready to go. The shares are ready to go, registered in London. It's all ready set up over there. So I just have to get uh, investor, major investor companies. To come in, but I've got to rewrite all my constitution, and everything. You, if you, if all the engineering people in 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 energy knows you can't build it for less than that, for what it is, and it's 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 turnover will be three times that a year, so it should put out pull out 36 billion a year in hydrogen jet fuel. Hmm. Um. So, hey. Eh? What's that? Yeah, no, no, he, he is familiar with, with what I do. He's familiar with, with, with everything native, everything um, confederation, everything like that on your side. But he's, he's on the commercial side. He, he, he's quicker than anything with you to keep it marae based. I'm putting that, I'm going to Te Horo Marae at Port Awanui. That's, that's, 
from Rotorua, you go down Waimakatini Road towards Waimakatini, and then you go over the hill. I'm, I'm going on land block over there, that's where I'm going to settle. I'm moving there, a Desmond's going to move there on the block, next uh, on the Fisher's block. Uh, what's her name? Uh, Leslie Fisher. She's a Peachy. Peachy, Pe Peachy um, married Peachy Ted Wano. That was his wife. My, 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 un my uncle. That's her. That's her family there on that block where I'm going. Her lease is up, so I'm taking over her lease and, um, and the lease on two other blocks. No, 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 no. Too much argument over there. It's better with these parkers over there in Port Awanui. It's, it's, it's cleaner over there than getting mixed up in Tauro and, and, and all the arguments. So, so it's, it's manageable where I go there way away from anybody. Uh, to yeah, well I hope so too because, um, like I say, he, he, he knows the Maori thing. Uh, and how that works, but he, he, he knows the global thing on, on, on um, uh, Britain, the, the new Britain. The old one is phasing out and the new one is, is, is we, we, we are up to the new one. Yeah, there's only England and Wales left. Scotland is running away from, from there. Um, and it leaves it wide open for us as the lost link, right, with the flag. So, yeah, now all, all I need to do is get an answer from him how we're going to pay him. How, how the, this project should pay him to look after the project at home. For that, that, that figure, 12.5 billion, adds up to what, what, what it is. Um, and um, uh, size matters. And everybody understands it now. It's been around for a long time online. Um, so those turbine people in the sea know this. Know this thing works from other turbines that are out there. Not as big, but it's still the same sort of um, um, industry. And and it's ready to go on on Ranfilly Bank. All I had to find out what the people think. That's why I'm putting that hui on for. It's, it'll be in the Gisborne Hill tomorrow, Friday, Thursday and Friday. I'm putting an air there. Hey? Right? Yeah. The, the, I'm going down on Friday and the hui on Saturday. Yeah. And then i got to come back to my, my, my court hearing on Monday, if it's going to be a court hearing. Yeah. But that's what my, my barrister said uh, before I got to court, that my hearing has been put off till next week uh, on Monday. And so I took it as being next week. But when he walked out... Uh, with the, the, the people in the community, I've got a hui for the locals and anybody, the public, and then the landowners of Heringa Block um, um, in the afternoon after lunch. I'm not sure. Oh, uh, yeah, Tamati. No, no, he'll be going. He's going to Gisborne. He, he won't come to it. He's going to Gisborne. But it's mainly for the landowners in that area to, to, to interest in supporting that project um, and 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 um, that's as good a place as to do it but I still got the Marangaro at the lighthouse I still got there I've been approved there to put the echo farms and this over there but on these blocks of land they got the clay there you know they got the, the, the um, clay soils to making uh, concrete and all that sort of thing earth concrete and things that's what I wanted to use for building houses um, with that and steel to make houses out of that earth. Clay, white clay, you know. There's heaps of it there where, where the hill's fallen into the sea. The erosion. <clears throat> so, uh, hey? Was that? Yeah, yeah, I was, I was going to, but um, this block of land came up. The block of land came up and it's got clay on it, lots of lots of uh, clay and lots of open spaces to, to put an airport there, up on top of the hill. Desmond, Desmond, uh, I've got um, 
what's his name on the Marae, uh, Iru Painga. Mm. He's let me go there. He just took one little listen to me and said, yeah, yeah, you come, you come. And, and um, um, what's her name? Uh, Lillian, Lillian Baldwin. She's the secretary. Lil Lillian Baldwin. She, she's the secretary on the Marae. Te Horo Marae. That's the one on the, on the road to the port. The last one on the, that road. And the fishers, Richard and, and, Richard and um, uh, Leslie Fisher, is the ones on, uh, with the farm on the block. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. So they're good people there. Uh, by the sounds of it, I'll, I'll I'll get on better with them. Yeah. And, and Roger Hideaway is, is the chairman of the Heading of Blocks, and he just said, "You go ahead. You go ahead, and I'll, I'll tell them that you're right to go on there." So he's approved it. He's, yeah, yeah. So that's that's one good thing about uh, about being able to go there with those old Komatuas. Yeah, backing me up, and and that's the way I like it on the Marae. I'm more comfortable on the Marae uh, uh, as being for. Oh, um, uh, 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 I lost confidence in there. Yeah, yeah, but but my brother's still having battles over there with, with them. And um, Willie up, up Whakangiangi, so I keep him right away from, from there. I don't want any arguments with my family there, so I'll, 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 my, my football crew is from Rotoria and, and Tiki Tiki. So, you know, I, I know a few people there from the old day. Hmm. Okay? Yeah, all right. Yeah, I will. I will. Yeah. Okay, okay. Bye. There you go. That's Sue Nakora, Mary Prime Minister. She can run rings around John Key and anybody hear how that works. She was Sir Geoffrey Palmer's right hand Maori po policy maker. The law. She put the Constitution, 86 Constitution, together and went to Harvard. So she's a very clever woman. She's got all the titles to all the land blocks, all the married land blocks right through this country. She got it. That's where I go. That's my authority. If I want to know about any better land, she got it. That's my queer at the East Coast, at Ruatoria in Hiruharama and Mount Hikarangi, she overrides all the Kupapa Maoris and the Maoris who talk. She quietens them down and at Waitangi. They listen to that queer because she makes a whole lot of sense. Getting a bit older, but I want to see things happen for her in our time. She's supporting the tidal turbines on Bradfully Bank. She has a lot of say in those lands in Ruatoria, around that area, or anywhere for that matter. She says she's a chief, Ariki. Well, I'll go along with that, because she has a wealth of knowledge about things Maori. Okay? I get my advice and my authority from that woman. And that's my friend Moira uh, Hoffman's friend. Those two get on really well, my friend in Rotorua. Moira Hoffman Russell. She's a Russell from Russell up north. Napui land. She loves Napui people. Writing a book about Napui. She is. So these two women, click, just like that. Moira, that was her. And she's supportive of what I do with Charles Hirschfeld. He's in our family on our land blocks, Manangaro land blocks at East Cape. So he should be 
looking after us and our legal needs. That's why I'm trying to get them on phone to jump in now that the police are out of my road. It's left the land block owners and the tenants vulnerable. They're like sitting ducks now with a crack shot lawyer to go and take them out one by one. I warned them this was going to come. It's hard to say these things, but when you've got mongrels standing in front of your way and losing in court, they do that for a reason. They set this up with their little puny brains to make Maoris look bad. There, make Maoris look bad when they're the bad. They're the bad ones. They're protecting their self-interest as corporate thugs. There, put that one. Put that on the record. Thugs. That's what. Uh, that's what they're flagged for. Pirates and thugs. We're gonna express the law of this flag of a king over you thugs. It's your police who got in the way of the Bar Association's law and my barrister. There's an end to that. It's the little clubhouse that I'm trying to bust open and show you its guts and its brain, how it works with crooked words, forked tongue, crooked words, capitals, little letters, capitals, little letters, capitals, little letters, money. To make money out of you by playing around with the English language is a bastard language because bastards are writing it and altering it to make money on our land. So, with that, I just wanted to carry on, get on with it, but I'm glad I spoke to Sue just to update her about our meeting, Hui, at Port Awanui. Uh, the ad's going in the paper tomorrow in Gisborne Herald. I just got it all sorted this morning. Missed today's one, but it'll go in Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. There'll be an ad in there for the hui at Te Horo Marae at Port Awanui Road from Ruatoria Township on Waimatatini Road. Carry on down until you come to Port Awanui Road going over the hill on the other side to the beach. And the marae is before the beach and before the end of the road. But there's a gate there, you've gone too far. Go back, back over the hill on the other side of the bottom, and there's the marae there. Okay, so at the hui, we will have um, the first part of the morning from 10 o'clock till midday. We will have the talk on the tidal turbines and raising the funds for that right around the well. Uh, with crowdfunding and also with um, investment companies. Now I've got to do that next week after my hearing on Monday. Hopefully I've got a hearing on Monday. I'm hoping <coughs> that there's a hearing and, there's, and then my barrister don't say there's not when he's already told me there is. So I'm expecting a meeting on Monday at the courthouse, Auckland District Court. But I'll be racing down the coast on Friday and then racing back on Sunday to my court hearing on Monday. It's going to be a fast trip to the coast, have a quick dive and then out of the water and back up this way. Uh, so um, the morning part will cover a lot of topics uh, to do with the seabed, uh, Ranfilly Bank, uh, where the tidal turbines we are proposing to put there, the construction of the uh, platform measures 50 metres by 50 metres square, that's all the area it's taking up, on the rock. It's fixed to the rock so it's not going to float off somewhere and hit somebody's ship. It's going to fit where the ships don't go because it's only 30 metres is the lowest part of Bramfilly Bank. So we're going to sit right on the ridge, right out of harm's way where the tide screams over and rough, right there in up to 80 to 100 meters water off the edge of 
the top of the ridge of the Rain Frilly Bay. Okay, we won't go in 30 meters, that's too low. We'll go where it's deeper, but still on the edge. So it's not as though there's a lot of life there. There's only rock I'm picking, not down on the flats where all the crustaceans and fish are. Not around the top where the waves are screaming over the top and low where ships will hit the bottom um, and they don't go there. So that's what we're talking about. We're going to talk about uh, pollution um, and chemtrails, uh, fracking, oil, oil spills, risks to our livelihood, our, our food source, um, policing of the sea. Um, and also uh, employment, the main thing, employment and security of our future needs for our families there. And because it's a community, community project, all the benefits must go back into the community. That's what crowdfunding is for. So we're going to have global crowdfunding to kick this off there in Dover in England. Uh, as being, we have a company in London registered, Moai Powerhouse Group Limited, Limited. Okay, so that company is registered, set up with UK jurisdiction over here on that block of land under our flag jurisdiction in Waitangi Marae with King Itaurua and his Napui Chiefs contract. That's their contract flag. It's going to stand on hitting a A12 block as our authority direct to Britain, UK, Navy and military to be here on us with us to police our seas with their military, okay, for our business between here and Britain, UK, the remaining Britain, UK, England and Wales. Scotland has run away for a moment. Some want to stay out, some wants to stay in. That's their problem. They've got a problem now with Nicola Sturgeon. She wants to out and finding it very difficult to try and hold things together with that stance. Anyway, that's the morning and we're talking about international law and indigenous um, um, communities as being complementary to what we do, uh, 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 native, as well as um, the old English village there and Spanish village there to rebuild at some stage one day and replica of it and with whatever we can recover from our resources to fund it on a crowdfunding global platform. Okay, so that's how it looks, and we'll be talking about seaweed, uh, sushi, uh, aqua farms. These are some of the things I talked about early years uh, of doing and haven't done yet until I got on a piece of land. Now we have sushi, seaweed, aqua farms for the Marangaro C12 block, already been approved by the Maori trustees, which is Tumutumu Te Tumutumu Paroa and uh, the Maryland Court, that's been ready to go for a long time. And we've got that option of doing something there if we get one turbine off the ground and going. We want to set up workshops there uh, on the Hiringa A12 block and the Hiringa A11 block. The, the A11 block is next to the sea with the big piece of land gone into the sea, the white cliffs. It's the same looking as the White Cliffs of Dover in England. It's the same looking as the White Cliffs there is a bit Englishy. Okay, so with the English families, the Peaches are our family. My dad's brother, um, uh, um, married a Peachy. Tiki Tiki, Poro Poro family. And um, so that makes us family with Richard and Leslie Fisher. I love them to stay there. If I get the lease of the Hiringa A11 block, a Hiringa A10 block and a Hiringa 12 block. 
then those people remain. And it won't be me there doing things. We'll be um, having community um, projects um, so that they can run things themselves with other outside experts that have all the expertise in the world to teach our people. I'm talking about sea um, um, monitoring of research and development there and divers, uh, my interest in divers, and putting earth concrete homes and steel earth concrete steel homes up. We have a plan on Facebook at the moment showing construction of one uh, that can be made quite easily and have those on the land there for people who are going to work in this industry, uh, tidal turbine and fisheries, deep sea fisheries there. And our platform on Rainfree Bank will be for the power project and for fisheries and refrigeration at the same time. We can always expand into another one, two, there at some stage when we prove the first one is going to pull the power out. Um, here, it's got the best tidal source of energy from the sea uh, in mass amounts of power from tides. Okay, so that's our basic hui. Uh, and um, what else have we got? We've got um, local community questions that can be asked of uh, what's in it for them. Uh, there'll be other industries stemming off that as it grows. Um, we're going to have to develop the land to put housing as our first point of call. With funding we can raise ourselves and others around the world. Um, so, I'll think of other things uh, to talk about for the hui. I've got an agenda there. I can't think of everything at once. So, there's a few other matters uh, of concern there to talk about on the agenda. So, I'll be coming down with that. And um, for two hours, then we have the landowners meeting. They are hitting a tour meeting at one o'clock, followed by the hitting a team meeting after that. And then they're having a, a 11 meeting last at 3 o'clock. Or if the heading of people from the block, all the blocks want to come to each of those meetings, that's fine. But I need to get decision from them to do what I want to do because there are other interests in leasing the lands as well. And I'm getting support from uh, Roger Heidewa. Um, he says go ahead with anything with the earth to recover for local use or to uh, as a natural resource the clay is what I'm interested in with a quarry and for the material to make the tidal turbines themselves and the platforms out in the sea and aquifers so we've got a lot going for that product uh, as a valuable resource uh, rather than slip into the sea. We've got fisheries as well, deep sea fisheries, uh, a budget for that as well uh, on the way, and some jobs uh, that um, I can discuss about um, at the Hui. So between that and also um, poachers coming in, uh, and how are we going to monitor all of that from a big distance from the shore? We have the means of bigger drones to get it right out, then so be it. But I'm just saying, our budget is 12.5 billion for that and the one in Dover and England, um, between here and Britain, UK, under this flag, in the chiefs of this country, Hapu. Okay? Um, so, um, wanting this hui to go into the Maryland Court uh, um, before the 1st of October, when I'm with Te Tumutumu at the moment, to get the lease uh, through their means, if uh, no one else was going to contest, then I'll go straight into the Maryland Court 
with this hui um, result to back up the lease of the property for community benefit. Okay, our crowdfunding will be for community benefit as a, a point of source of income to raise that sort of money. Okay, um, that's all. That's all I, I need to say for now. Uh, apart from trying to get a hold of um, Charles Hirschfeld, I'll be just as quick to go and drive over there this afternoon and see him. Thank you very much. Bye for now, John. Okay.